Hi folks, I'm from RootGalaxyNote.com for this week's ROM of the Week for the GTN 7000 Galaxy Note. Check out SOKP ROM. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite ROMs um, now, and this is one of the hot, what's hot right now on the market right now. I'm going to show you, this is running the latest Android 4.4.2 Sonic Open Kang Project, sort of like uh, Android Open Kang Project, but instead of the unicorn, you get the dragon. Um, so I'm going to show you, kind of walk through uh, some of the stuff I do. There's more features, but I'm just going to show you some of the stuff I do with it. Uh, SOKP control and settings, this is where you can get all kinds of customization. This is probably the most feature-packed Android 4.4.2 KitKat ROM I've seen in a long time, and I really like it. Um, some of these features might overload you, so just take it slow and uh, you know play with one at a time. Um, so let's go ahead and go to advanced controls and you'll find here audio configuration you can go ahead and enable digital Dolby um, this should give you better sound and go ahead and make sure um, hit allow for super user access and you can go ahead and switch to Dolby speaker um, that will enable it also audio FX on board and there's actually uh, on board um, to on board there's an audio system that's supposed to make your uh, sound better and uh, if you go swipe to the right um, you'll find exposed framework and also about page there I'll go into that later let me go ahead and go back to the regular setting here show you all the stuff you can do you can customize all of your buttons your home button you can do long press double tap um, what I like to do is oops I like to do the long press um, for voice search and also you can do double tap launch camera. Let's try that real quick. Uh, San Francisco Giant Score. The Alright, that worked well. Double tap and my camera should be here. And let's go take a look at the camera real quick while we're at it. Um, there we go. Focusing nice there. Taking photos very nicely. All right, and let's go ahead and try the camcorder. Um, this is autofocus, um, so the camcorder works well. Now, if you need Android 4.3 Photosphere camera, you can go ahead and grab it to replace it with this one. I think it's a better option. Um, whoops, I changed the recents, so I'm gonna have to go this way now. And let's go back to SOKP control. Um, you can go ahead and uh, add your favorite stuff here for your power menu. As you can see, you can add Pi controls, um, screen recording, screenshots. Um, that's one of my favorites. Uh, let's go back here. Um, home. Uh, for the launcher, it comes with three different launchers. Uh, the Google Now launcher, Galaxy launcher, which is like a um, TouchWiz launcher um, that's running on AOSP. Uh, Inspire launcher. So you can go ahead and easily quick and quickly switch, which I really like. A lot of ROMs don't have it, and then you have to download this other third-party app. It just makes everything confusing. They should actually put that there if you're going to have multiple uh, launchers. SOKP Halo. Um, this is basically Halo notifications uh, from Paranoid Android. And also this ROM does come with a multi-window, I think. I've actually not tried that feature. But let's go ahead and try uh, opening up. Uh, let's just open up. Um, let's open up the Chrome browser. Oops. You know, I'll need the recent RAM bar. Um, so I'm going to go have to go back real quick here and see how quickly you can go here and change it back. Um, long press, I'm going to get rid of the that and then recent app switcher. All right, here we go. Let's try that again. Um, you can go ahead and uh, do a long press at to split view. All right. And there we go. That's going to put it up at the top here. And let's just go ahead and load uh, my site, hi on android.com. And I really like the font. Um, I forgot what this font is called, but I really like it. All right, that is loading. And let me go ahead and load the settings at the split view. And you should have a full multi window there. Um, so that's nice. It's sort of buggy because you see how it's cutting out a little bit but it shouldn't be too big of a deal um, so you'll have to live with it it's still sort of an experimental feature but it's there so you can still use it uh, one of my favorite things with the buttons here 
um, is the fast torch. Enable holding the power button with screen off to control torch. This is one of my favorites. When your screen's off, go ahead and hold down the power button and your torch comes on. And when you let go, torch comes off. Very nice stuff. Now there's a ton of stuff. I'm sure you've seen most of these in other AOSP ROMs, so I'm not gonna go over all of them. I uh, just wanna kinda show you some of the stuff. It does have also active display, which is nice. Um, if you go ahead and turn this on, you will be able to get um, your not notifications when you take it out of the, your pocket, if you enable the pocket mode. And also, let's go to lock screen. Um, something I really like is the lock screen notifications. If you enable this, it's gonna show you all your notifications. I can't show you right now because I don't have notifications. Uh, but try it, you're gonna love it. And also you can get up to eight, short, uh, eight slider shortcuts uh, for your custom shortcuts. You can go ahead and set it to any apps um, or the camera. Whoops, I'm just gonna put it to download for now. All right, so a ton of stuff. Um, battery saver mode even this is sort of nice uh if you're always you know need some battery um this will allow you to actually customize the time that uh, you save battery so you know perhaps you go to sleep every day at 11 uh, p.m then you can set it to start at 11 p.m when you wake up at a.m um so you know you can set um you can disable your bluetooth disable your gps uh, put it into power saving mode all that good stuff this is uh actually pretty cool stuff and let me see, screen recorder there, LCD density. Now, this ROM does come with sort of a tablet UI-ish. Um, if you don't like that, you can go to advanced controls, and this is what I was gonna show you earlier. Uh, if you go to utilities, you can go ahead and go to expose framework, and uh, make sure you go to the framework at least once. Hit install update like this, and make sure you hit allow, I usually do Remember choice forever because it's annoying to actually do that. Before you reboot, go to modules and go ahead and enable all these modules. And let me go ahead and slowly explain some of these stuff. Uh, app settings is uh, exposed app settings. I have a full tutorial guide on that. Basically, it allows you to run your favorite apps um, such as Netflix or any Gmail or whatever. You can run it in tablet mode, phablet mode, custom DPI mode. You can make the fonts bigger. Uh, perhaps you're you know, farsighted, nearsighted whatever you can do that and also fab 7 is where you can change out the whole UI so it will make it make the fonts bigger make it like a phone UI or you can run it into tablet mode and also there's even extra feature called X halo floating window that's right you can actually get a floating window um so let me go ahead and reboot uh, I want to show you that floating window feature real quick it's sort of experimental but it's on the ROM so I might as well show you while at it so I'll be right, right back shortly and we'll continue here uh, there we go and that's the boot down animation pretty cool all right i'm back here um reboot it now let's go check out the floating uh, multi-window feature to enable this you'll have to go to sokp rom con uh, control here go to advanced controls go to floating multi-windows at the bottom um and the main settings you can go ahead and change this pop-up size um, portrait width height i'm gonna make this height into 50% for now. Uh, there we go. And also you can go to movable and resizable. You can even make it um, movable and you can resize it if you want to. Um, bunch of options. After that is done, go ahead and hit the back button and go ahead and go down to, uh, let me see here. It should be an SOKP Halo. Make sure you enable this. This will enable the normal multi uh, window. All right. And we're gonna go ahead uh, and uh, enable Halo. Go ahead and hit, click that button, and you'll see Halo, and it's gonna go through uh, the regular uh, stuff. All right, so let's say you have a notification. I'm gonna go ahead and go see my Hangouts here. Oops, there we go. And you'll see that I have a floating window here and this is an SMS, so let me get, get out of this. Oh, there we go. There's my Hangouts. And you can go ahead and uh, float, and you can also um, resize it. And also, you, if you get the, um, oops, if you get the app Halo app from the Play Store, you can also uh, 
enable multi-window floating window uh, for your favorite apps go ahead and install this halo app here and then you'll be able to add any apps um, to your halo floating windows so I'll be back when this is done all right once you get halo here let me go ahead and open up halo and I'm gonna go ahead and add um, just the Chrome browser and default there and if I hit play it's gonna actually show up Chrome I'm going to be able to launch Chrome uh, in multi-window. And uh, th there we go. Ah. Here we go. There we go. Um, there's my Chrome. Ah. And let's open a new tab. And let's go to a high on Android. Oop. There we go. And you can launch multiple apps, which will give you multiple floating windows. Um, this isn't perfect by any means. Uh, I don't think it's usable as daily driver yet. Uh, but the feature is there, and uh, sort of you can play with it. And I'm sure it's going to get better as we go along. Um, so it is there. And it is exciting. This is the only ROM that I've seen actually have this. Um, you can also install on any uh, Android device and try it out yourself. Um, just go Google it. You should be able to find it. And uh, if you don't need this, go ahead and click it away. Um, yeah, so I've shown you some of the cool features about this ROM. And it uh, looks like a pretty awesome ROM. And let me show you the Galaxy Launcher real quick. Um, you know, just you could play with this ROM forever. Uh, just, you know, forever and ever. And uh, looking nice there. There's a little bit lag there because I just launched the launcher um, because I was using the Android 4.4 KitKat launcher. But looking pretty good. Definitely check it out. And, uh, you know, you may want to install a custom kernel. It will make it definitely run faster. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM Louis. And do let me know what you think. But I really like it. SOKP ROM. Um, hours of fun just customizing your phone. And I think that's about it. Um, so definitely check it out and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Galaxy Note, don't forget to sign up for my email list at rootgalaxynote.com. Uh, for Galaxy Note 2, I have a site at galaxynote2root.com, Note 3, galaxynote3root.com. And I will see you guys soon. I'll stay hoi on Android. Yeah.